Hi, I'm Steve Maher, the ergonomics guy, and this is a Workrite budget pinnacle arm with a 22 inch track. And I'd like to show you what happens when you open the box and put it in place and how to set it up to make it work for you. Um, I really like Workrite. It's a really good company. They have a really good quality product and they're just up the road here in Petaluma, so they're not too far away. Um, but what I like about it is that it has a full range. It goes negative to positive tilt and it's really easy to set up and that's what I want to show you. So we will just open it up right here and they packaged it nicely. Um, so hopefully I won't cut myself on video and if they do, I will edit it out. Uh, so we will just open this up here. And this is what you get. You get a box of paper. Okay. Now, when you open it, you're going to get three parts. You're going to get the arm, you're going to get the platform, and you're going to get the track. Okay. So here's the first piece. I'm actually going to put this a little bit lower and we'll take that one at a time. This is the keyboard tray itself, or the plan. This is the tray. This is where your keyboard and mouse go. I usually like it to be one level so the keyboard and mouse are of the same height. Okay, it comes with a wrist rest which is fully removable um, and I'll show you that in just a sec. Then, you get some more paper and you get a box. And inside this box, you are gonna find both the arm and the track. And they're two different pieces. Um, a lot of times people get confused as how these pieces come together. I'm going to show you that. So, you will get uh, some instructions, which is great, and some little tiny screws for fixing the, the platform uh, and the track. We open this up. This piece right here, which are kind of stuck together. Let's see how they come apart. If they come apart. Oh, maybe it's together. Uh, so, we're going to take the cardboard out of here. Sometimes these pieces come separately. You have the track, okay? This is 22 inches. They also make a 17 inch track and they can also be cut to order. So you can cut them shorter. And what this does is it's going to attach to the underside of the desk. Okay, so you wanna make sure that you have 22 inches of free space underneath the desk so that the arm will slide back and forth and fully retract. If you have a 17 inch track, the platform doesn't always slide underneath the desk completely. Uh, this piece here, you can see this piece here is the arm, and this is the piece that comes up and down and changes the angle. Pull this cardboard out, move this stuff on the floor. And so we're going to mount this tray, or this track, underneath the desk, and it's going to sit like this, okay? And then the arm piece will slide forward, actually we will slide all the way up. So this is the track that will fit under the desk. This is the arm piece, and this is the part that will lower and raise, and this is where the platform sits. So those are the three pieces, and we will show you how to put those together. It's, um, it's pretty simple. It comes with these little wood screws here, and I'm just gonna affix the track underneath the desk. So we're gonna pause the video for a sec, and I'll be right back. Okay, so it took a minute, but I attached the 22 inch track underneath the desk. If your desk has flashing on the front, you may need to install a spacer so that the track fits flush against the underside of the desk and is even with the flashing. Because if the arm is up underneath the desk, you can't extend it fully and it won't come back up as high as you might need it. So you can add just, uh, they have spacers that you can get that fit right under there and just screw into the underside of the desk. Once you have the track installed, then you want to put the arm in, which is actually really easy. There's little rails on the side here, and they just slide right into the tracks like that. And then we'll go back. Then what we do is we take the platform, and there's uh, holes here drilled into the, the arm mechanism, and there's holes drilled into the platform, and we just match those up and screw them together, which I will do now. So give me a sec, and uh, I'll show you how to set this up. Okay, so I used the four screws provided uh, and the nut underneath to attach the platform to the arm, which is on the track. Uh, just a couple of things you need to do. One is install the wrist rest. And what's nice about this is it's actually a split wrist rest. You have a long one for the keyboard 
and usually you put that on the left side and a short one for the mouse that you put over here on the right. Uh, you can certainly change those around if you wanted to, so you can move the mouse one over. Uh, sometimes if you have a natural keyboard or you like the keyboard really close or this gets in the way for you, you can just take it off, but you still have a pad for the mouse. So, um, or you can pop them both in and it covers the whole thing. Uh, the way this works now is to push the front edge down and it goes down, pull it up from the bottom and it comes up. And there's this little knob here on the side and what that does is it changes the tilt. So you can bring it up or down. There is also this little bar here, and what this does, it actually fits into the front edge of the track. So it's gonna slide right in there, and then give you some little screws, so you can screw it into the track itself, and that keeps you from pulling it out, like I keep trying to do. Uh, but that will limit it, so it won't, it won't fall out into your lap when you pull it out by accident. Uh, if you lower it down, it will retract underneath the desk and it will also swivel. So if you want to move it, you can move it to where you want. Uh, it also comes with this reflective mouse pad that will, it's uh, sticky on one side. And what you can do is just put it right here and that will fit underneath your mouse. So it helps your mouse track a little bit better. Um, and that is how you install a Workrite Pinnacle Arm with a 22-inch track. If you have any questions, feel free to send us an email at theergonomicsguy.com or check out our other videos at The Ergonomics Guy on YouTube. Uh, and check out our blog, The Ergonomics Guys, The Ergonomics Guy blog. It's new. Uh, online. Thank you very much.